the head straight up, Lyme disease symptoms include joint pain, headaches, and flu-like symptoms. Well, and then this news from the CDC this morning. The number of tick and mosquito-borne illnesses growing at an alarming rate. Fox 9's Maury Glover with that story. With summer right around the corner, it won't be long before the return of the unofficial state bird, the mosquito. But there may be even more of a reason to cover up and put on some mosquito repellent this year. According to the CDC, the number of people getting sick from mosquito and tick bites across the country more than tripled from 27,000 in 2004 to 96,000 It's not in just mosquitoes and Nine ticks. Nine new diseases that are spread by those insects like it's Zika fleas. have also been discovered in the U.S. It's anything that, that can bite and open up your but skin that carry the disease can give it to you. control agencies don't have enough resources for basics like monitoring programs and pesticide resistance This is testing. why Minnesota, so many are suffering. see a lot more illnesses due to ticks than mosquitoes. Both are here, but uh, the ticks are, are more of a problem. The CDC says Minnesota is one of the top 10 states for this diseases is than a dime. ticks, with more than 12,000 reported during that 13-year period. Smaller than the head the of state a... state health department says the number of cases of Lyme disease has exploded Matchbox. from a couple hundred a year in the 90s to up to 1,400 a year Match. more recently. While Minnesota is in the middle of the pack when it comes to mosquito-borne illnesses, with West Nile virus and the cross encephalitis the main culprits. We don't want people to be afraid to go outside. Uh, our, our summers are short enough here, and there's a lot of value, uh, health benefits to going out and enjoying our our uh, Minnesota outdoors. We just want people to know, you know, uh, about uh, the risks that are out there and take proper precautions against Post some signs. illnesses. The Metropolitan Mosquito Control District is considered so one of the best in the country. Visitors know to wear bug repellent. Which mosquitoes are a health risk and which are simply pests makes all the difference. In Minnesota, we have 51 different species of mosquitoes, and they don't all bother us, and they don't all spread disease. So kind of knowing which mosquitoes are of concern really helps you guide your program, and I think that's something that a lot of people around the country are catching up to. Maury Glover, Fox 9 News.